Hi everyone and welcome to today's card sponsored by Crafty Cafe Design Team. I'll be making this Mother's Day card in the video. I've already created two Mother's Day cards using the same die um, which we'll be featuring in this video today. So I've loved playing with this die because it also embosses once you use your embossing mat which we'll touch briefly on the sandwich to make using your Sizzix Big Shot later on in the video. So the card combination and colour combination I've used is Spun Sugar for this first one and Squeeze Lemonade. I love the so soft undertones for that and this one I went more bold with the Purple Distress, Re uh, Distress Ink range, uh, Dusty Concord um, Shaded Lilac and that uh, Wilted Violet. The card that I'm going to recreate for this video, I want some more pink undertones. It's really vital to have a spritzer because it's like that water colour effect and it just turns out so beautiful. Here's the die. It's quite a large die. It's like the size of an A6 card frame. And it, um, it has so such beautiful detail and it is quite intricate to use but it is very, very beautiful to see in person as well. Now the Cherry Lynn Designs Mother's Die has been also used in the cards. Um, I won't be using it in today's card but it is um, a die that I use in the card, the purple card. Now, best tip, quality watercolour cardstock. I've used Canson, which I find is really good, that reacts well to the Distress Ink of layering. So you can see all I've done is spritz, smush the ink on, smush the cardstock on, dry, and I just keep placing the dry cardstock on top and, re and layering the ink over and over, and then dry again. And it has such a beautiful layered texture look. You don't get to see too much of it, just the water droplets and the watercolour background with that specific dye. But it's just so beautiful. Love, love, love layering with the Distress inks. You just get such a unique look and you can never recreate it. So I just love the surprise element of making these kind of cards. So once I've dried thoroughly, here's the frame dye. And I just make sure I run that through the big shot. I do run it twice just to make sure it cuts properly. And then it, you'll see that I didn't actually, because I didn't place it on an angle on the rectangle through the big shot, it, done, it didn't cut totally off. And I probably could have increased the pressure by adding a shim, which, you know, we all learn from experience. So I've closed the multi-purpose platform and adding the layers in, closing the sandwich off, running it through the big shot. See how I did it straight? If I did it slightly on an angle, it probably would have all cut properly. And you can see just a slight hiccup on that top right, which I just end up, it's on the edge anyway. So I just use my paper snips. And I slowly, because they're so intricate, um, take all these out. And here is what you're left with. Now, using the same die, because it, it embosses as well, I place it down and I open the multi-purpose platform up to tab one. So just placing that the sandwich down, so the, uh, the mat, the die, a rubber mat, and this will push the actual die into the cardstock and create that embossed beautiful look it's actually quite raised you can't really see it that well on the video but it is quite raised and so detailed well I was just in awe when I played with that I did see it you know in the shopping cart on crafty cafe and I often looked at it and I'm like oh would that be too hard to play with I'm so glad I did it was so worth the investment I can just imagine all these cards I'm going to create with. Now, waste, not wasting any of that watercolored cardstock, I've got the MFT banner die, and I thought I was going to use it, and I do end up using it, but we'll just, you'll totally understand where I'm coming from in using, or not using that later on in the card. So I've grabbed 
the W Plus 9 Strictly Sentiment stamp set. This has got amazing Mother's Day um, sentiments into it. And Mother's Day, it's only around the corner. So I hope you got your Mother's Day cards made or at least love cards just to show appreciation. Um, I don't have a mother anymore in my life. She passed away pancreatic cancer. However, I've got an amazing mother-in-law that I can send these on to and also some um, surrogate mums that I've got in my life as well. So I'm just kind of placing it and using um, a just a pencil to kind of line where I'm going to stick the actual die down. I am going to use vellum in this and I've got a Simon Says Stamp Rose Gold embossing powder that I've had now for a little while that I don't often use but I thought it'd be, it's quite a pink undertone rose gold so I thought this would be perfect to match with the pink of the butterflies. So prepping my cardstock as you saw earlier using my Versamark ink. I'm going to press the Happy Mother's Day stamp on here. And I've just got my little catchment so I can catch all the flyaways of the embossing powder and then just funnel it straight back in. It's such a beautiful script font, this Strictly Sentiments from W Plus 9. You've got to really love it. It's the detail in it, everything just matches the detail of the stamp set and the card um, and the memory box hovering frame. It's just perfect together. And you can see how it starts off quite dark, the embossing powder, but then it goes into this gold and really pink undertone. It's just so pretty. So I've just got some multi matte medium into that actual um, bottle there that because it's got a fine tip bottle. You can see me playing around whether or not I'm going to use the banner there and I didn't end up using it but I will use it in another card and I just won't waste it. I just didn't want to waste the actual uh, beautiful butterfly cardstock, the watercolour cardstock that I already created and used for this card. So I've just placed the multi matte medium on either side of that vellum and just had a block to weigh it down. Now this Impression Obsession medium die butterfly die is just so gorgeous to add as an extra layer so I'm not again I'm not wasting any of that cardstock um, that we had done that I'd done earlier and just picking out some butterflies that I thought will go well in the center of the big butterflies to add dimension so I'm just playing around here to see how else to embellish the card Now the trick to using, uh, placing these down is to roll the glue dots to ha in line with the stem of the butterfly. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but in the middle of the butterfly. <laughs> and that way it lines up, it adds dimension because you can prop the wings up. And there you go. I've kind of really kept it simple and realized, you know what, I'm going to do the inside as well. I'm going to match this sentiment and I used and every day you are loved more than you'll ever know. Um, oh, Actually no I end up using you have always been like a mother to me because I am sending this particular card to my mother-in-law. So I've used a soft yellow so saffron cardstock and just layering it down so I've layered a vanilla cardstock on top of the so saffron just to have that finished look to the inside and I did have small butterflies left so I thought you know what I'm not going to waste it I'm going to continue that butterfly theme on the inside and just put a row of it and I just thought it was so beautiful now this Butter Bart Hero Arts shadow ink I've just used it just to continue with the soft yellow tones I've stamped that sentiment, you've always been like a mother to me. I hope you liked today's card. I've kept it really simple, fun, um, and I loved layering the Distress inks. I had so much fun, and I'm about to do the same with the Distress Oxide inks in a couple of my videos later on. So I hope you enjoyed today's card. Here's the finished, here's one of the finished cards of that yellow one that we saw earlier, and also the purple one up close. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.